Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. Today is Tuesday, November the 23rd. This is Deaconess Elizabeth. And it's time for our daily devotions. We are doing the early evening devotion in your hymnal today, and you'll find this on page um, 297. If you'd like to turn there now and join us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory. Of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right, and uh, Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us today. Our hymn today is going to be hymn 511, Herald, Sound, the Note of Judgment, and we'll do just the, the first verse this afternoon. Herald, sound the note of judgment, warning us of right and wrong, turning us from sin and sadness, Till once more we sing the song. Sound the trumpet, tell the message. Christ the Savior King is come. All right, we are moving through the book of Revelation. We are in chapter 20 today, beginning at verse 1. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil, and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit, and shut it, and sealed it over him, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also, I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such, the second death has no power. But they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. And when the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations that are at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them for battle. Their number is like the sand of the sea, and they marched up over the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. But fire came down from heaven and consumed them. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night, forever and ever. All right, so maybe one of the most enigmatic chapters in the entire Bible, Revelation 20, is the topic of much speculation about this meaning of the thousand years here that Satan is... Um, is bound in this pit and it talks about that um, uh, that that he's there and that um, you know we, we've had discussions about what does the thousand year period mean and some people take it literally to refer to it as a literal thousand year period uh, but there are others like uh, our denomination that uh, see it more as, as being figuratively that all the numbers in Revelation have a figurative uh, significance to them, with 1,000 representative of 10 times 10 times 10, which would be the, the number 10, which is a complete number of three times for the, for the Trinity, um, talking about God having a hand in this. Um, you can see towards the end of this passage that the dragon is judged along with the beast and the false prophet. And um, the beast in Revelation refers to um, the secular powers and authorities of this world that have exercised uh, persecution over the church. 
And then the false prophet would also be equivalent to um, elsewhere it's called the harlot, and then elsewhere it's called the beast of the earth toward the uh, earlier parts of Revelation. And that would refer to all the religious deceit and the false religion and even the false church that are present in the world. And that all three of them together are, are judged at the end of time by God um, as the saints are given their heavenly inheritance and seated with God in the heavenly places while those who oppose God and his plans um, enter into eternal condemnation. So uh, that's, uh, that's what's going on here in Revelation chapter 20. All right, we continue back on page 297. Let's pray the, pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us that we may receive, recognize you as you are revealed in the scripture and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us today? Um, there will be no youth night tomorrow, Wednesday, as uh, this week we are celebrating Thanksgiving here on Thursday. Um, and uh, with that being said, we also will not be having grief share this Thursday here at church. So um, those are uh, the announcements that I have for today. All right. And uh, midweek Advent service is now just about a week away. So uh, we still don't have anyone signed up for the uh, first Wednesday night to cook a dinner. So we, we do have someone who is talking about cooking on the second one. So we'll see how that goes. It, it may be that we may either... Um, not have someone the first one and have someone the second two, we'll, we will see. Uh, but hope you can join us as we uh, celebrate the season of Advent using the service in our hymnal of evening prayer, uh, which is a popular service here. And uh, Christmas Eve services this year will be uh, the usual 4 and 6 p.m. I know that's really looking ahead, but we are um, about to Thanksgiving. Uh, there will be no Thanksgiving service, so, uh, but we pray that we will be able to see you again uh, this coming Sunday as we have the first Sunday in, in Advent starting. So that's all the announcements we have for today. Please join us again tomorrow for daily devotions.